Hey everyone, I just wanted to take the time to give you an update on this Silver's Neomax uh, coilover conversion on my 2003 SL500. Now, let me tell you, I don't see a lot of these on the road, not here in Cincinnati, and I'm gonna tell you why. Well, they are unique vehicles, but I'm gonna tell you, I know a couple of people whose SLs are just sitting in their driveway or in their garage, in their driveway or in their garage because of the failed ABC suspension and the cost that the local Mercedes dealerships want to repair them now i know that this will stir up controversy i'm good at that when it comes to this abc um conversion over to coilovers i know that there are not a lot of people who are fans of the conversion there are those who want to keep it factory and they say if you can't keep it factory then don't keep the car or you don't you shouldn't own the car okay you know how i feel about that but let me tell you something this car drives like a freaking silver bullet. I don't know if you can drive a silver bullet, but it feels like a race car on the track when I'm driving this thing with these Silvers Neomax coilovers. They are adjustable. You can adjust the dampening and of course the height. I have mine set, I think on the front at about maybe 14 and in the rear seven. So I have it on the softer side. Uh, the car is definitely lowered. I have 20 inch wheels with thin tires. Uh, 30 series, no, 35 series in the front, 30 series in the back. Because of that, it is a much firmer ride. And if I have the coilover set too hard, then I feel the road too much. It is still a Mercedes, and so I still want it to be comfortable. But it definitely has a sport feel. It feels incredible on the highway and on the roads. Do not let those naysayers who have never experienced it tell you that it will change the ride uh, and make it a less than uh mercedes not worthy of converting these cars are phenomenal i don't see many of these on the road i can tell you in the last six months i've seen one on the road here in cincinnati and again i will put it on the fact that people ugh, i'm gonna just say it i think people are scared to drive their car once they get these suspensions right they only pull it out what is necessary or when they really want to enjoy it, maybe on a weekend. But I drive this car pretty much daily, and I have zero issues out of the suspension. This thing drives freaking incredible. I'm telling you what I know, not what I heard, not what I've read. I'm telling you from experience. The Silver's Neomax suspension on this car is phenomenal. There are other options. There are other coilovers. I don't know what they are right now. Right now, I'm concerned about the Silver's Neomax. These are very nice. I don't get paid by them. I wish I did. But I'm just telling you what I know from experience. It is a good transition. It is a good conversion. I have a friend who's 2004 SL500. has been sitting in his driveway because he has a busted line. It keeps busting. I know it's probably accumulators, but he's scared to drive that thing because of that. Well, he's going to wind up upgrading <laughs> upgrading i said it again upgrading to silver's neomax and he's going to pay me to do the work i tell him once you do this conversion you'll never have to worry about it again and that's the fun of this conversion that you don't ever have to worry about it again if they're done correctly if you do it and you know what you're doing you will love them you get to play around with the settings, make sure it feels the way that you want it to feel, and you can hit the road at any time and never have to worry about that again. Now you gotta just worry about the stuff that everybody else worries about. You know, just the basic stuff. This car is phenomenal, man. I love this car. I have other cars, but this right here, it touches my heart, man. I love it. Oh yeah, and it's a hard top convertible. What's nicer than that, you know? Not only does it look good with the top up, it looks great with the top down. It's just my opinion.